I'm gonna be making me a quiche Lorraine. This is gonna be a quiche. And that's my pie plate. Doesn't a quiche Lorraine just sound like the fanciest thing you could think of to make for dinner? It's not that fancy. I mean, it's pretty fancy. Most people don't have like a quiche for dinner. Uh, probably because most people are having quiche for brunch, especially because a quiche Lorraine is essentially just breakfast foods in a pie shell. So uh, I can make that, why not? And if I can make it, you could probably make it. And if you could make it, So I'm gonna do a quiche for today. And it's just real, real simple. First things first, you should probably make your own dough when you make your homemade, what the hell am I making? Quiche Lorraine, you should make your own dough, I suppose, and a fancy chef might. We're gonna make pie crust. I got a frozen one. And honestly, that's part of the problem. I'm starting out with a, a frozen pie crust. This Pillsbury deep dish, two ready to fill nine inch pan pie things here, has a nice little uh, direction on the back to make a one or two crust filled pie, for one crust filled pies like pumpkin, pecan, or quiche, pour filling into frozen crust. Okay, so bake from frozen, right? Well, that's not what my, that's not what my recipe says. My recipe says here, if you're using a store-bought frozen crust, follow the directions on the package for pre-bake. Bake for 40 minutes, then remove from the oven, and remove pie weights? I don't have pie weights. Those are pinto beans. They make a great weight. So the only person, Taylor's not here, my lovely girlfriend, the only person I can think of to call is everybody's favorite, your mother. Not your mother, my mother, my mom, Karen. She's actually a Karen, she's not a Karen, but she is Karen. Hello? Hello? How are you doing? I'm just making a quiche Lorraine, what are you doing? You're making a quiche Lorraine? I would pre-bake it. So just what, pre-bake it for like the whole 40 minutes that it? No, I would put it in there for like 20 minutes, like car bake it so it's halfway done. Because otherwise the inside of your quiche is gonna be um, done and the crust is gonna be it's Still half frozen, frozen, that's what I thought too. How do I know when it's half done? How do I know when it's done done? <laughs> half the time. So. Uh, there's your answer, folks. I would have fucked up the quiche. Now if Karen, Karen? If you fuck up the quiche, quiche Lorraine! Mr. Pillsbury gives you two crusts, but luckily they last, if you believe expiration dates, until June 2022. It's June 2021 for reference. July! It's July 1st. So, oh wow, that's nice. So on New, I need to save this for New Year's so I can go, July 4th! It's coming up. I can, when I finish the quiche, I'm gonna take this outside, this pie pan, and I'm gonna go ding, 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 ding. So we used to do at Judy and Clara's house. Rest in peace, Clara. In the yard. 350, 350 is God's number. 777 is God's number. Don't joke about God's number. 777 is God's number, but 350 for baking, God's number. So we're just gonna stick the quiche Lorraine crust into a 350 oven for about 20 minutes, and that's according to Karen. While we wait for that to pre-bake, blind bake, whatever you wanna call it, have you guys ever had an oven that actually told you when it was preheated? Every place I've lived, with the exception of like maybe my childhood home with my mother and father, separate homes, I've never lived in a place that had an accurate light. It's always been guesswork. And I'm gonna line the bottom of it with some pre-cooked crispy bacon. Uh, I went all the way over there, sat down, started relaxing, realized 15 minutes of pre-baking is the perfect time to cook up the bacon. <coughs> you guys remember Mad TV's Lorraine cleared her throat a lot? <laughs> That was one of my favorites. The recipe calls for half a pound of bacon. This thing right here is a pound of bacon. So I'm gonna literally count the strips, put it in half. Is that stupid? I don't think so. One, two, uh, uh, but now I'm touching them all. I mean, this just looks like a stack of damn meat. 13, a baker's dozen? I'm gonna just assume I miscounted and I'm gonna start heating up me a pan here. Medium high heat. You guys remember Sudzaroo the kangaroo? I don't know if you can see me. You guys remember Sudzaroo the kangaroo? Taught us how to wash our hands. <laughs> she did come back in fourth grade and teach us about our periods. 
So I'm just gonna grill me up six of these grill skillet. I'm gonna put six pieces of bacon in this pan and cook those up over the next however long it takes to do that. There's a bacon disaster. I think this is two pieces. I'm having, I don't make bacon. The great thing about quiche is you can really do anything that you want to do. You know, if you like sausage, you could do sausage, or if you liked ham, you could do ham, but everybody I know loves bacon. And just like that, our bacon's done and chilling on a plate, draining of grease onto paper towels, which as a kid I thought was disgusting, but is apparently just a normal thing that you're supposed to do. So next I need to dice this shit up. It's gonna be bite size. I could have done bacon bits, I guess, but hey. I feel like there's no, I mean, it's crispy, crispy, crunchy, crispy, crunchity bacon. Come on now. Wow, wow, wow. Y'all watching MasterChef Legends season. This is MasterChef Legends. Now, you know, I thought with MasterChef Legends being the title that that meant that like returning from from past MasterChef seasons that didn't win, but no, it's actually just visiting guest stars. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god. Bacon? Done. Time to make our filling. For our filling, for our quiche Lorraine, we're gonna need whole milk. I don't use any of that milk alternatives. I, I drink milk. I drink cow's milk. Heavy whipping cream. Heavy cream. No half and half today for this quiche and three large white eggs. I need to crack me three eggs in this big old bowl over here. Set those right on the counter. You know, I forgot to check my eggs this time at the grocery store and one of them is cracked. And then I'm going to take my beautiful Harambe whisk. <laughs> I'm gonna whisk these eggs. Break them up. Break, break. Now break your eggs. I've just added my chives which I chopped. My salt, pepper, and nutmeg. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm whisking it together with Harambe. I still can't believe there were so many people who voted for Harambe in 2016. I get it. I get why you didn't like both of the candidates. I think four years of Hillary Clinton would have been better than four years of Donald Trump, but let's be honest, it wasn't that fucking bad, right? Let's just hope there aren't four more years of it down the line for us. You know, this is like the worst part of cooking. You gotta do all this shit. And then once you're done, you still gotta bake this bitch for like 40 minutes. Add the milk and cream and whisk vigorously to incorporate and introduce a little air to the mix to keep the texture of the quiche light and fluffy. Aha! Look at what daddy's got. This shit. Sorry, Harambe, but you don't have a motor. I moved my bacon. I'd like to thank whoever bought these for me for Christmas, this beautiful pioneer woman set of measuring cups. I need a cup of milk. Come on now. Get in there. Oh. Cup of milk, half a cup of heavy whipping cream. I love heavy cream. I do too, and butter. Do you I love butter? <gasps> I love butter. You don't okay. look like you've loved it as long as I have. <laughs> I love butter. <laughs> half a cup. All right. How do you know when it's quiche? Well, I don't know if you can over whisk a quiche. Her filling, maybe if I, when I stir it and the bubbles go away. I've never made a quiche, uh, so, God, and there's a whole other miserable step still. Okay, the Lorraine's done. I'm considering the Lorraine done. Oh. <laughs> Man, God, that smells good. Next up, I have the unfortunate task of shredding up the Gruyere cheese. I couldn't find any shredded Gruyere around me at the one store that I went to and refused to go anywhere else. So I gotta grate it myself. Now we just need to add the cheese. And okay. Paula, would you grate it for me? I certainly will. Because you look like a great grater. Oh, I am a great grater. <laughs> you guys remember the book? Have you ever seen it? Who Moved My Cheese? What the fuck was that all about? I tried to read it as a kid because like my stepdad had it. Maybe it was my mom's, I've never asked. They had it growing up when it was all a craze. I just thought it was gonna be like a book about two mice, but it's a self-help book. What the fuck could a self-help book called Who Moved My Cheese? What the fuck could that be about? Standing up to people who move your cheese potentially? <laughs>
Didn't that look like misery? It was. Now I need to get the cheese and the bacon into my pie crust so I can finally get it into the oven. Definitely going bacon first. That is a lot of bacon. And my Gruyere cheese. And that is a lot of Gruyere cheese. Okay, now it says you want a, obviously a good mix of the two, so I'm just gonna kinda mix it up. God, that is so much bacon. May have done too much bacon. Here's a close up of my quiche Lorraine. Before, it looks like a pizza before I pour my sauce in. I've got a nice mix of the stuff here, I think, and I've kind of filled it out to the edge. Now I'm gonna pour my sauce in. So I'm gonna dump in my eggs, my whole milk, my heavy whipping cream into my thing here, into my pie, and hope that, ah! that that doesn't happen. I'm gonna let it soak on into this. This is like a disaster waiting to happen. Now it says you want it to kind of be suspended in the, the quiche water, the quiche milk. I'm just kind of dabbing it all around here to try to mix in the, uh, the way too much cheese. Let me show you what it looks like. Here's my quiche Lorraine. Uh, I mean, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna put it in the oven. I'm gonna put it on the top shelf and I'm gonna bake it for 30 to 40 minutes, but it says to check it in 30. So I'm gonna come back and check it in 30. You see you then, I'm gonna see you then. I'm gonna charge your battery and I'm gonna relax and I'm gonna come back in 30 minutes and check her. Can y'all hear the church bells ringing? Can you hear them? And I hear some children playing right over the fence. And just like that, somehow, it's 30 minutes later. I'm about to check my quiche Lorraine for the first time. It says to expect that it might still be liquidy when it's done and that the rest of it will cool as it settles or settle as it cools. So I'm expecting to see a potentially done quiche Lorraine. That's what I'm hoping to see. But the pessimist in me and seeing how much cheese and bacon and the filling, I'm almost expecting to see a completely overfilled, burnt, disgusting, horrible, awful mess. So we're gonna find out as soon as the timer goes off. I can't tell you how nervous I am to check this quiche. And you know, I, oh. Welcome back y'all and I think our quiche is ready. Here we go, giving you the bird's eye view. Quiche. Oh, it's definitely cooking. Oh, it looks beautiful, honest to God. I don't think it's ready, but it says to check it at 30 minutes. See you in 10, about five. You know, why do girls like quiche so much? I don't, I don't know why we do, but I know you've heard of that joke, real men don't eat quiche. I don't know why men think that it's just not a dish meant for them, but I know Michael loves them. It's only been five minutes, but I really don't want Lorraine to burn, so I'm gonna check her again. She said it'd be a little jiggly. Parts of it are golden brown. Let me get you up here close. Parts of it are golden brown and looking delicious. She said parts of it would be jiggly until it cooled. And I mean, that looks, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I think it looks beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm gonna let it cool for, <sighs> what is she, does she suggest anything? Just says cool on a wire rack. I'm gonna say five minutes, five more minutes. Next time you see me though, I'll be over there at my dining room table, which is not where I eat, but it's much more photogenic, I guess, than the recliner. I'm making a video. Mm. Ah, I'm about to lose a little piece of pee. <laughs> well, it actually took 15 more minutes to bake. But here is my quiche Lorraine. I've got my quiche Lorraine. Didn't quite come out of the pan. You can see how it sort of turned out. Beautiful crust on top. On the side, Ritz crispers, sour cream and onion. Don't even think about it. I think that real men do eat quiche. <laughs> right, Eddie? So I, I'm sure it's absolutely, I'm sure it's absolutely scalding. Always blow. You know, when I tell you, let me first say, I'm not one of those idiots that thinks quiche is for breakfast. I don't know if that makes you an idiot, I'm just assuming. 
Because to me, quiche is really fancy. God, Dr. Pepper is good. The quiche Lorraine is delicious, but it's breakfast. I don't mean to sound culinarily uneducated, but this is eggs and bacon and cheese. It's great for breakfast or breakfast for dinner, which is what I'm having tonight. I don't know what this video was. Quiche Lorraine cooking tutorial with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a blessed evening and I hope you don't judge me, but I don't pray before I eat my food. I'm back for my next slice and I realized I might not have done a very good job of being a cooking show host and telling you what I thought about the food. It's tasty. I would make it again. I'd make Lorraine again, but I think I would try a different quiche. It's book club food. You know, I know it. Ouchie. Best part of the meal is that delicious toasted Gruyere cheese and the delicious bacon. It's hard to get out of the pan. It just turns into mush. But hopefully as it continues to cool, it says it's a great refrigerated and served cold. I'm excited to try that. And uh, hey, if you wanna make a quiche, it was relatively easy. Get shredded Gruyere if you can find it. I know Whole Foods actually sells quiches pre-made from their deli, so do what you gotta do. Make you a quiche. Maybe try one that's not Lorraine. I recommend Lorraine, though. I sound crazy. Yeah, and that's the last time I'm making macaroni and cheese.